Supermassive black holes are found at the centre of most galaxies, including our Milky Way. They are incredibly massive, with their masses ranging from millions to billions of times that of our Sun. However, even though they are massive, they are also incredibly far away from us. Research has shown that merging and colliding galaxies often occur across the cosmos. It is also theoretically possible for a supermassive black hole to be ejected from its host galaxy and on a collision course with our Milky Way galaxy, although this is considered to be an extremely rare occurrence. A supermassive black hole has been discovered hurtling across space accompanied by a trail of stars that suggests it has been evicted from its galaxy of origin. Even more shocking is the fact that it's heading towards us. Could this pose a danger to Earth? Stay tuned, let's find out. Recently released Hubble Space Telescope photos reveal a thin stripe on one side of a tiny galaxy, which astronomer Pieter van Dockum, a professor of physics and astronomy at Yale University, and his colleagues first identified. Despite its modest size and lack of catalogue number, this galaxy bursts at the seams with gas clouds and rapid star formation. More than 200 light-years from its core lies a virtually straight line that terminates in a dazzling blaze of ultraviolet light, making it observable because it is considerably dimmer than the rest of the galaxy. We identified a narrow line in a Hubble picture heading to the core of a galaxy, Dockham claimed. We discovered the link between the line and the galaxy using the Keck telescope in Hawaii. We analyzed the feature in great depth and came to the conclusion that we are seeing the aftermath of an ejection of a very huge black hole from the galaxy, together with the gas and freshly created stars it spat out. The team's findings provide the first observational proof that supermassive black holes can be ejected from their home galaxies and wander into stellar space. Using the Hubble Space Telescope, scientists observed the dwarf galaxy RCP28 at a distance of around 7.5 billion light-years from Earth. They saw the racing black hole as a brilliant streak of light. Further research indicates that the streak is more prolonged than 200,000 light-years, or about twice the diameter of the Milky Way, and is likely composed of compressed gas actively creating stars. The gas is being propelled out from its home galaxy at a rate of 3.5 million miles per hour, that's 5.6 million kilometers per hour, or about 4,500 times the speed of sound, in the wake of a black hole with a mass estimated to be 20 million times that of the Sun. The researchers claim that the streak leads directly to the location of a supermassive black hole in the heart of a galaxy. The cores of the vast majority of galaxies, if not all, are home to supermassive black holes. Like the one the researchers saw, these jets of material launched at great speed by active supermassive black holes appear like streaks of light. Jets that originate from the cosmos are referred to as astrophysical jets. After looking into this streak, the team concluded it was not an astrophysical jet, hence not what they had seen. They claim that contrary to the behaviour of astrophysical jets, the tail of a putative supermassive black hole seems to strengthen the farther it is removed from its apparent galactic point of origin. As an additional point, black hole-launched astrophysical jets often spread out from their source. Still, this track has stayed linear. They reasoned that the best explanation for the streak is a supermassive black hole tearing through the gas around its galaxy at such high velocities that star creation is triggered in its aftermath. To determine each star's age, the researchers measured its light's wavelength. The stars located furthest from the galactic center were found to be the youngest. Furthermore, they argue that it seems as if a massive shockwave barreled forth from the galaxy's heart, cutting a route for itself and leaving a trail of hot, compressed gas that caused bursts of star formation. Hubble and Keck's data are more consistent with the idea of a runaway supermassive black hole. In the center of a freshly created galaxy is a vast black hole that dwarfs even the most significant supermassive black holes. Recoiling gravitational waves from a merger may sometimes give the resulting super-duper massive black hole a tremendous kick 
that sends it careering away from the galaxy's center. When this occurs, a vast and dense object travels through interstellar gas clouds at horrifying velocities, creating a bow wave in front of it and leaving behind a long wake of ionized hydrogen, ripples of compressed gas, and bursts of newborn stars. These researchers suspect this is happening in their nameless dwarf galaxy. According to the team, a slingshot triggered by a three-body contact is the most plausible scenario that explains what they observed. In the case of three bodies of comparable masses, gravitational interactions often create a binary and the ejection of the third body. This suggests that the black hole was previously part of a supermassive black hole duo and that during a galaxy merger, a third supermassive black hole was added to this partnership tossing out one of its members. The frequency of these huge strays is unknown to astronomers. While predictions of ejected supermassive black holes have been made for 50 years, no such objects had been spotted unequivocally until now, Dockham added. The remarkable absence of activity in the core of the small galaxy lends credence to the theory. If two supermassive black holes recently merged, you'd expect to see a black hole that is actively being fed matter, yet no such thing is there. And it reflects the departure of all supermassive black holes from the nucleus, as the team puts it. Therefore, what happens to such a galaxy without a central supermassive black hole? Astronomer Misty Bentz from Georgia State University, who was not part of the research, claims it doesn't mean much. For the most part, a galaxy without a black hole at its heart would appear the same as a galaxy with a black hole, she says. There is an even more enormous dark matter halo inside which a galaxy is buried, and the star mass of a galaxy is, on average, 1,000 times higher than the mass of the black hole at the core. As a result, while it may seem that a typical galaxy revolves around the supermassive black hole at its core, this is not the case. Instead, the galaxy orbits around its own center of mass, and the black hole happens to be located at this gravitationally stable location. The luminous dwellers of the galactic center, the stars in the closest orbit to the supermassive black hole, will experience the impacts of the merger and rapid ejection of their supermassive companion. Other models show that some of these stars are so gravitationally bonded to the supermassive black hole that they, too, escape with it. The existence of the runaway supermassive black hole has been established. It is time for researchers and scientists to address how such a large object is expelled from its home galaxy. It will take further studies with other telescopes, Dockham said, to uncover the definitive proof of a black hole at the strange streak's end. The most crucial stage will include using NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory to observe the galaxy in X-ray light. If astronomers are incredibly fortunate, Chandra might capture a glimpse of the accretion disk surrounding the speeding supermassive black hole, or perhaps both of them, if there are two. Thus, it would be the smoking gun proof for this scenario, as Dockham and his colleagues said. And further photos in the shortest ultraviolet wavelengths, dubbed UVC or deep ultraviolet, might reveal to scientists if that second, far fainter line is a second wake, a glitch in the data, or some other cosmic oddity. More enigmatic supermassive black holes in distant galaxies may be discovered with the launch of the Nancy Grace Roman Telescope in 2027. While NASA may learn more about black holes in the future, it's improbable that a supermassive black hole is speeding towards our direction. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.